Hey everybody, hey everybody. Welcome to the She Shed. I thought today would be a good day to catch you guys up on some tea that I got on one of our favorite ready to love castmates, Ashima Franklin. Um, so if you follow this show, you know, ready to love is a dating show here in Atlanta, different singles, people get voted off, you know, every week, kind of your standard dating show itself for people of color, of course. So Ashima is the one who originally she came on the show as an underdog. Uh, she said that she always gets put in the friend zone because she is a comedian and, you know, she's funny and, you know, she'll start out good dating a guy and then all of a sudden she's in the friend zone. So that's Ashima. She's actually become a fan favorite of the show just based on um, different reviews that I've watched and, you know, different comments I've seen online. Ashima has actually become, you know, one of the fan favorites from the show. So that's good. But I was just, you know, flipping through YouTube, watching one of my um, favorite channels. The name is Comedy Hype. Uh, I don't know if you guys don't uh, subscribe to that channel. I'm going to put the link down below. Definitely go and check out that young man. It's a younger guy. He does only interviews, you know, of comedians and um, comedic actors, things of that nature. So it's a really cool channel. But he did an interview with Ashima, and I found some really... Um, Interesting information that I don't think myself and most of the viewers viewers don't know uh, for Ready to Love. So, first of all, do you guys remember a few years back, probably about three years back, Cat Williams had his run. He was, you know, getting into something every other week, right? Remember there was a lawsuit from someone who, um, um, they accused him of kidnap, um, physical abuse, throwing food at them. It was kind of like in a series of events with Cat Williams, so you might have missed it, but I, I vaguely remember it. Well, the plaintiff in that complaint was Ashima, Ashima from Ready to Love. So apparently she was on tour with Cat for six years, and according to the lawsuit she filed, which was a $3 million lawsuit, um, again, claiming kidnap, physical abuse. She said that um, she was held against her will, while two other women jumped on her. Um, and then at some other point, she also had hot food thrown at her. And Kat made a comment like, why do you, you know, feel like you should eat? And in the, in the um, article that I, watched, I went and found after watching the video, nor the video with Ashima herself, states that they ever had any type of romantic connection. Um, I don't, so I don't know if this was like a boss co-worker strictly thing or if there's more but they're not alluding to that it was more just you know as if he was just her boss because she was on tour with him as a feature so um after the video off of a uh, comedy hype i went online to do a little more information because i'm like okay well did she win the lawsuit did she not win the lawsuit that's what the video doesn't say so in a statement from cat's attorneys a few months after this was filed they told tmz hey um you know, Ashima signed something shortly after this happened. She settled for a cash amount. You know, this whole thing going to the public was just a miscommunication between Kat's lawyers and Ashima's lawyers. And, you know, everything has been dismissed. So, as Kat said, he get arrested and accused of stuff all the time. But y'all can't name a time when he went to jail for something. So, um, but yeah, that was that was what Ashima was saying about that incident. And she was and she has like a um I'll 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 read a statement in part. Uh, apparently this was right after everything happened, and she seemed like she was mad, mad. So this is what she posted on her Instagram shortly after filing a lawsuit lawsuit against Kat. A smile on my face and God on my side is all I have to answer to. But I will say this none of you know what happened to me. Yes, Cat Williams changed my life for the better, and that's because of the talent that I was blessed with. But at no point, and I mean at no point, did he ever have the right to put his hands on me. If you want to fire me, then cool. Give me my walking papers, but to gang jump me is a whole new level. No one deserves that. We are comics. We get on stage to take you away from the drama and the hurt and the pain, even if it's just for a few minutes. And at some point, this sh gotta stop. Y'all know YouTube don't play by cussing. And all of you who are hollering about black women trying to take down black men, shut the f up. This is not a racial issue, but if you want to make it one, 
then how about a black man is never supposed to hit a black queen, especially in the world we live in today? How are you going to come change my life and try to end it as well? People are always hollering about us sticking together, but when the S hits the fan, all y'all got is opinions. Well, now it's time for a resolution. How about we figure out how to get this man some help instead of acting like somebody is trying to get money? And I'm speaking out because um because he must be stopped and he needs help ASAP. Yeah, you can say I'm stupid for staying with him that long, but that's because you don't know nothing about pursuing your dreams and them actually turning into reality. Or I guess you never worked a job and you didn't like your boss, but you still had to do what you had to do to feed your family. And I have no regrets. All I can do is take this experience and learn from it and not make the same mistakes. I'm not gaining anything from complete strangers knowing and judging me off the most humiliating thing that has ever happened to me in my life. But I will gain is what I will gain is strength and courage knowing that my voice will be heard and it will change and help others other people that have been in some type of abusive relationship. Whether it's personal or work-related, I truly hope Cat Williams gets the help he needs. And she said, hashtag Ashima Franklin, hashtag always keeping God first. So again, that last paragraph is kind of confusing because at some point she refers to him as a boss. and some um, point she kind of refers to his relationship. So that's still up in the air. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, and I, I commend Ashima because a lot of people would you try to use that as a, a stepping stone, you know, clout chase and get their name out there. She could have very easily kind of dropped little hints about her history when she came on Ready to Love, but she didn't. You know, she just kind of let her own merit speak for itself. So, And I thought um, something else was very interesting, too. Um, in a different segment of the interview, she said that she has a child with Carlos Miller. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Carlos Miller, but he he originated the movement Black Men Don't Cheat. He's hilarious. He's a com uh, comedian also. Um, if you ever heard of the 85 South Boys, they go, you know, all across the U.S. selling out venues. It's Carlos Miller, um, D.C. Young Fly, and uh, Chico Bean. And it's pretty much improv comedy. But, um... He is the founder of that also. And, you know, apparently he and Ashima came up through the comedy ranks together. And, you know, they co-parent. They have a really good relationship. She only has great things to say about Carlos, which is great. Because I'm a big fan of 85 South Boys. Like, I watch their videos faithfully. Like, I've probably watched the vast majority of them. Um, and each time a new one.